Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another day of Funko Fair reveals, and today, it's all about television. So let's get started. So let's just get started with the first reveal today, which was The Office. Now, I actually have most of The Office Funko Pops. I'm probably only missing maybe a handful, so not too many, but they made a whole new line, and it looks like all of them are exclusive. So first off, we have four Walmart exclusives with Phyllis, Oscar, and then two Ryans. And then for some reason, they did both Ryans exclusive to Walmart. I'm not too sure why, but it looks like one of them is like the original Ryan, like towards the beginning of the show, and then the other one's after he gets fired, and then of course he comes back with like dyed hair and tries to work for the Michael Scott paper company. So that is pretty funny that they are making both of them. It's just weird that they're both Walmart exclusives. And then for the second page here, we have three, well, two Chalice exclusives. One of them is Michael Scott dunking, and then the other one is, of course, Dwight. This is all from the basketball episode where they play basketball against the warehouse workers, and I think these ones really do look great. And I already did pre-order all of this stuff over on Chalice Collectibles. Actually, any of the Chalice Collectibles stuff that I do show off, as soon as they reveal it, it's up on their website for pre-order. And if you want to guarantee yourself getting a Dwight Chase, you do have to pre-order six of the figures and then one of them will be the chase one. I mean, that's what it is. It's a one in six chase. It's just kind of expensive at $90. And then guys, we're also getting our first ever Creed Funko Pops with him with his mung beans where it gives him his old man smell. And then we also have the, okay, this one's kind of funny. I'm trying to figure this out. The one that's not a chase just seems to be like the normal kind of Creed. Nothing really too special with him. And then I'm guessing the chase version is him in his Halloween costume um, because he came into the office and everybody's like, great Halloween costume and he goes oh yeah that's what it is so I'm guessing that's where it's from because I can't think of any other bloody creeds throughout the show it probably happens just I can't think of any off the top of my head all right now after the office we are getting a brand new wave of G.I. Joe Funko Pops and then a couple Transformers as well and I want to show these two reveals off together even though they were technically separate hours so we'll start with this here this is the G.I. Joe and Transformers collector boxes and this is kind of funny because it comes with two separate lunch boxes but the lunch box is also part of the collectible I believe they come come inside of the lunchbox. And this you can actually already pre-order over at GameStop if you guys want to get one of these for yourself. So it looks like you get either two of the G.I. Joe characters or two of the Transformers ones, and then you also get one lunchbox, one keychain, one decal, and then one pin set. Now I'm not too sure if you get all four pins or just two of them. I think it would make the most sense to only get two of them, but I'm not too sure. And so if you were to get these in stores, the lunchboxes would be different. You could either pick out the G.I. Joe one or the Transformers one, but if you were to order them online, they just give you a random selection of either of them and I did pre-order two of them so fingers crossed that that is one of each. And then the other one that we've got here is another wave of G.I. Joe Funko Pops with a Funko Shop exclusive. And I'm trying to figure out here, is this to go with the retro toys? I'm not too sure because the other ones definitely do. These here just don't specify. It only says Funko Fair 2021 G.I. Joe. So I'm not sure. But I am noticing it does say licensed by Hasbro, and the other ones, I think when they originally made them, did not. So I'm guessing these are going to be in the Retro Toys line. Now this next one here is a set that I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy. And this one right here is the Umbrella Academy. And it looks like we're getting all of the same characters that we got before, but with different outfits and different sculpts. Because most of these ones, like Luther, we've already seen before. Um, and I think they all look great still. There might be a couple new characters. Here's the thing. I haven't seen the show. I know. I know, I should probably watch Umbrella Academy. Stop booing, it's okay, it's, it's okay. But um, I will probably watch it eventually, it's just for now, I don't really know any of these characters, but I do know some of them have already happened before, like Luther and... Um and Ben, Ben, I know Ben's already happened before. We have a bloody Ben, so that that one I've seen before. I just don't know all the characters, so I'm sorry, guys. But these do look really great, and I'm sure a lot of you guys that have watched the Umbrella Academy are gonna enjoy them. Now, here we also have another technically retro toys line Funko Pop. This one right here is of Krang, and it's funny, we were actually just talking about this one in a Reddit recap, I think, last week. Someone had made a soda concept of what this one could have looked like, and now Funko's coming out with a pop. And I think this one here looks amazing, especially the brain in the middle there because I'm pretty sure the actual Krang Funko Pop is carved out in the middle and then the brain just kind of sits in there. Now I don't know if the brain can come out of the figure but it is just kind of sitting in there kind of looking like you possibly could. I don't know. I haven't seen it in person. I'm not too sure if you can or not. 
And if anybody's wondering where you're gonna be able to get this one, it's over on Entertainment Earth, and they do have pre-orders up right now. Now, this next one's actually something kind of funny because it was revealed last year, but then they canceled it, and then they made new figures for it. And this one right here is Bewitched. Now, this is kind of funny. I have seen every single episode of Bewitched. Now, I know this is a bit of a weird one, but it just happens to be one of the retro television shows that they put on on my local news channel after school time. So, like, usually about, like, 3 or 4 o'clock, I get to watch an episode of Bewitched. So, I have seen every single episode of it. So, I might get these. It's an interesting show. It kind of uses, like, uh, like kind of, like, easy camera tricks, kind of like this, guys. This is a good example. Like that. They do simple things like that throughout the show to make it seem like magic, and I'm sure when the show actually came out, it was magic, but now it looks kind of silly. And also, I remember when they first had announced these ones, there was more characters, but for now, it looks like we're only getting Samantha and Endora, but I mean, they still look really good, and they did update the Samantha sculpt. I remember she wasn't on a broom in the original one, so I think this does make her figure look a lot nicer. And now, guys, this next one here is a great one. This is one that I had seen a leak of a while ago, and I didn't think that this one was going to be real, but then they finally announced it today and it is Frasier. And now this one I actually haven't seen in a while but I remember it used to be on before I went to school in the morning and this one was actually a pretty good show. I mean it's a little bit slower than a lot of the other shows but I did think it was still pretty good. So we are getting Frasier, Niall, and Martin and I really do like that they are giving you the dog as well. I think that's a nice touch. And also guys I'm trying to think I don't think they ever made a Frasier for the Cheers line so if you wanted to collect them out of box you definitely could buy a Frasier for that set as well. I'm also seeing a lot of comments about people wanting Martin sitting in his chair. I think that would be a really nice touch because for the most part he does sit in the chair a lot um, and then they're also saying there's no Daphne I agree that would have been a good one if they did it seems like they don't do a lot of female characters when it comes to different lines like I remember yesterday there was a couple that they didn't do as well but I mean still they're making the pops for those lines so maybe if people really want them they'll make a second wave with Daphne and now guys this next one here might be one of my favorite ones that they've announced out of the entire convention this one here is Happy Days and I'm just such a huge fan of this one this is another one of those shows that was also on after school times and probably around, was it at three or two? Or five? I, it, anyways, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, we are getting a huge line of these ones, starting with five characters. We're getting Joni, Chachi, Arnold, Richie, and the Fonz, and all of these things look amazing, especially the Fonz, because he's got his two thumbs up, almost like he's going, "Hey." And also, I really do enjoy that they went with the older Arnold instead of the newer chef. I can't think of what the newer chef's name was. Let me look. Hold on. Ah, his name was Al. Is that right? Yes, I think so, right? Al? I think so. There's no photo here. Why isn't there a photo? Let me see if I go to images. I think it was Al, though. Al? Yes, it was Al. Okay, so I'm really glad that they did Arnold instead of Al. Nothing against Al, it's just I prefer Arnold. One more thing about Happy Days, and then we'll move on to the next one. I think it's kind of funny that they chose Arnold, but then they also chose Chachi, because I don't think they're in the show at the same time. They probably just picked the best characters out of the entire show, but still. Yeah, I don't think they are. Anyways, let's move on. Now, sadly, I don't know much about this last one here. I actually had never heard of it before the Funko Pops, and this one is called His Dark Materials. This one here is pretty cool because they all come with animals, but uh, yeah, I've just never heard of this before. It's funny, someone said, I don't know this series, but I love Pops with friends. I agree, these are some really cool figures, especially because they come with like the rabbit as well as the monkey, and I'm guessing it's maybe like a leopard or something like that. I mean, they look great. A lot of people are saying they want Cobra Kai. I don't really see anybody saying they were excited about these pops. I mean, they look great. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't think too many people have actually seen this show. Oh no, right at the top there, guys, there was a couple people that didn't enjoy the show, but it looks like as you scroll down a little bit more, a lot of people really enjoy them and are saying that they're really nice and they are well done. It's just, I don't know his dark materials. Is this a newer show? Possibly, oh, they're on season three. This show came out in 2019. Let me see if I look at one of the posters or something. Maybe I've seen it. It's on HBO. I don't watch HBO too often. Maybe I've heard of it. I don't know. I just don't know anybody that watches it, but it does look like a pretty good show. Well, and well, anyways, guys, that is everything from Funko Fair Day 6. But before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. And for anybody wondering what the wheel is, it's literally just a way for me to show off more Funko Pops without having to find a video to fit them into. So let's spin this thing. Movies.
Okay. All right, guys, so the Funko Pop that I picked out out of the movies line today is Ted from Ted 2. Now, this one is a really weird Funko Pop because they only ever made Ted from the movie, and there was two different versions of him, one with a beer bottle and then one with a TV remote. Oh, and also, now that I think about it, there was also a flocked version exclusive to either New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con. I believe it was San Diego. But anyways, guys, also on the bottom here, it says that this figure came out in July of 2015. This is a really old Funko Pop that nobody really talks about so I thought it would be a great one to show off today but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow I'm a hump on a bounce, Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow, hey. like my lashes.